Hey there, Internet World. This is John Snow here with the second part of a Zavo Highway mission for the Halo Scream Halo 3. Oh my god, not off to a good start. Halo 3 Metascore Achievement Walkthrough for NextGenWalkthroughs.com. Um, this part, if I remember correctly, leads up. Um, to the end of the battle, right after you get the Wraith. Um, if you want to grab a Brute Chopper, you can use it to get over the gap in the bridge. Not this one, but the second gap. Uh, I don't do it, because I'm an idiot. Or something, I don't know. And if you do it, it makes the rest of the part a lot easier. See, I screwed up there. Uh, if you screw up... Uh, don't cry about it, don't jump off and kill yourself or anything, you actually just uh, drive on over to here and head right up this ladder. And again, uh, headshots are the name of the game. Um, I find that when there's a few grunts and uh, just a, a one or two brutes, but mostly grunts um, lying around, uh, I try to pick off the uh, grunts first, and then move on to the brutes. Uh, your sniper rifle is going to have half ammo because of that famine skull. If it's really being inconvenient, like you're not, if you're not a very good sniper, uh, and I probably should have said this earlier, I would advise trying this mission again without the famine skull. Or a better idea is when you first get to those two jackal snipers. And this is what I mentioned in the previous video. Uh, grab their beam, grab beam rifles and give them to marines and then later on take them back from the marines and I'll at least give you two sniper weapons to use. Uh, easiest way to conserve ammo is to wait until you see a brute that's uh, moving around slowly or uh, standing still uh, and only go for brutes. Don't use your sniper rifle on grunts until there aren't any brutes left, and you can see that guy was throwing a couple of grenades at me. That's a catch call at work. I get a nice double kill here. Yeah, but that's you know irrelevant. Um, hmm. yeah, just snipe. If you're lucky, um, you'll be able to get the first few waves of uh, Covenant to spawn, but that only happens when all the enemies down there are dead, and, um, oh, some grunt was, like, bothering me or something. Almost gets me with a plasma grenade. Not that one, but the uh, second one. A lot of grenades that we'll throw. Um, the allies are idiots. Really. <laughs> I, I said it before. I'm just trying to snipe these grunts from here, but I, I really can't get a good shot on any of them just because of the debris and the uh, distance. It's not very good for a carbine. So I go back to the uh, sniper. I think I get one or two of them. Then another grunt starts bothering me, and I was just getting like whatever. I just want to hurry up. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish the allies were smart enough. I wish it was actually like Mass Effect where you could order them around and tell them to attack certain enemies. Uh, I just scope in with the snipe rifle and then um, tell them to go after those grunts because I was just pissed. Because um, I, I would prefer to stay up here and at the very least use those three shots on brutes. And you know, It's not a lot, but it would have helped. So I just take out a couple of the uh, grunts, but I, I really just can't get them all from here. And the allies are just holed up in that back area. Uh, and you saw how the grunt's little explosion of himself set off those grenades. Uh, you got you got to be a little wary of that, but um, the only missions where it it's tight enough that that could be a problem would be Crow's Nest, um, and there aren't a lot of grunts in that mission. It's mostly brutes. <sighs> And maybe uh, Cortana, but there's no grunts in there, so not a problem. Uh, there's a music change that happens right about now, and you can't hear it because I've got this muted because um, because of my... Uh, I, I don't know why. It could be the Ripper or something or Windows Movie Maker, but the audio 
gets off from the video and by the end of um like a seven minute video it might be lagging behind by a minute or two uh, not a minute god a minute or two by uh, a second or two which you know it isn't bad but yeah my policy is if it's not you know perfectly on don't put it on so that sounds like a condom thing <laughs> Uh, and I was being a real idiot just letting this phantom pick away at me. I really should have taken cover in there. But here you just want to get up on this rooftop and start sniping away at them. Um, if you can get the chieftain right off the bat, do so. But once he goes into cover... Oh, God. Um, just so you know, that would have killed me on Legendary. Good thing I went normal. And your ammo's going to run out very, very, very quickly because of the famine skull. Once his... Uh, Helmet is off, you can be a smart person like me and use uh, one of the battle rifles littered around to uh, finish him off. It's definitely a better idea than trying to use the sniper rifle but with the battle rifle, the three shot. Uh, it's just three more bullets, and if you put it in the general area of his head, um, it can take him out. Um, that's a little nice little four shot I had there. Uh, I think it's on normal and heroic. Like, there we go, it took me only one battle rifle shot to finish him off, but it took a whole ton of sniper rifle. I didn't actually kill that brute, and if I'd let him wander around, he actually could have killed me. Um, because uh, brutes can actually kill you in one hit from behind with a melee. Yeah, be careful of this wraith. Even on normal and possibly easy, it can kill you in one hit. Uh, almost did there. Best way to do it the uh, best way to get rid of it is to shoot at the turret uh, gunner from a distance or from medium range like I'm doing right now and just keep strafing back and forth to avoid the big plasma burst and when you're getting ready to uh, board it just jump onto it to board it because I've actually I think one time I got um, I got ran by one of them as I was trying to board it. And once you've killed all the enemies around here, and that includes uh, hijacking the Wraith, uh, more allies will come up. And I turned around to go back, because um, I think, uh, you'll see what I'm talking about, I think I, I heard like an ally like tell, actually no, I'm, I'm, th I'm getting ahead of myself, never mind. Um, right here is a really good time um, to get the achievement for destroying uh, a vehicle with an enemy in it that uh, with an equipment you can grab one of the many trip mines that are back there um, and just drop a trip mine on a chopper that's coming forward you coming towards you the easy way to do it is use a charged plasma pistol shot hit the chopper and then just drop a trip mine right next to it and then you know, get away and you can take out a chopper Variation and get the achievement. Again, I'll have uh, an achievement guide. Obviously not for every achievement, um, but just uh, a few of the, uh, a bunch of them that are a lot easier to get than they sound. This video is over. I'll see you during the next one.